in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop the gun bunch in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become through doing daily videos that share with you offensive and defensive tips and tricks. And so if you are interested in getting better at this game, I want to encourage you right now to hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to stay up to date so that way you don't miss any of the latest tips in the community from this YouTube channel. All right, guys, so in today's video, we're taking a look at the nickel 335 wide defense. We're going to be sharing with you how to stop um, the gun bunch offense. And if you don't know, the gun bunch is probably one of the top one or two offenses in the community right now. It's, in my opinion, it's probably the best offense. Um, very close second to it would probably be the trip set in. And depending on what camp you fall into, um, you know, those are kind of the two main offenses. So I want to share with you my suggested or my recommended way that you can actually learn how to stop um, this specific formation the formation or the play we're going to be going over today is the corner strike this is kind of a, a standard um, concept that you can apply to multiple things within the gun bunch and this defense does apply to other things other than just the bunch but we're going to be focusing in on the bunch so um, what I've done is I've put the cover four show two in my audibles in this nickel 335 wide defense now if you want to get my entire 335 wide defensive guide that literally walks you through all the blitzes, all of the coverage schemes, all of the match defenses, zone drops, and how to defend every formation in the game. I'm going to put a link in the description for you to be able to go get that. That full defense is just 15 bucks. But in today's video, we're just focusing in on one of the setups against the gun bunch. And um, here's how you're going to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out in this 335 normal. And the reason we do this is because we want to have the ability to put safeties at linebackers. You see these are th three safeties, but they're subbed in at the linebacker position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply audible down into the cover four show two, just like this right here. And then the way that I personally recommend defending um, things like the gun bunch is I actually really like to go ahead and uh, essentially spread my line. Um, you don't have to spread your line. You can leave them pinched in if you want to. But I like to spread my line and I like to crash my defensive line out because the runs from Gun Bunch are really not that great. Um, the best run that they have is a little HB base. And you'll see that this defense is okay against stopping that. Um, if you really want to learn how to stop the HB base, uh, we go over that in our run defensive system. But basically, you know, again, you can do kind of anything you want. But if you're worried about the base, then I would just say just stand kind of right here with your user. And then you'll be able to kind of blow it up. And, and most people that run Gun Bunch don't really run the ball that much. So it's just my perspective. If you are worried about the run, um, then what you want to do is simply go ahead and shift your defensive line to the left and crash your defensive line out. You're going to see that just by doing that one little adjustment um, is going to help the run defense, as you can see right there. So from a run perspective, that's kind of what you're going to do. Now, from a passing perspective, there's a lot of things that the, the gun bunch does a really, really good job of. And so what we want to do is we want to kind of do the best we can to be able to defend some of this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and audible down to that cover four show two. We're going to go ahead and spread our defensive line. We're going to press coverage. And then from there, we're going to kind of set up our zone concepts and how you're going to be defending this. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to go ahead and put a seam flat defender on the left side, just like this right here. And then actually I like to go ahead and put a three rec right in the middle of the field. As you can see, he's gonna be right in the middle. Um, if you wanted to, you could move him on the left, on the right, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But this is kind of how I'll start, okay? And then from that point right there, what we're gonna do is we are going to actually put in man-to-man -man coverage, our right of screen outside linebacker. We're gonna man him up on He's blitzing, and we're actually going to man him up onto the circle receiver right there. This is going to help with things like the play flood and really anything um, necessarily that we're going to need to be able to do, we're going to be able to tackle it with this right here. This is going to pretty much do a really good job against the gun bunch. Now, the one thing that I will tell you is if they run something like a little out route or something like that to the right side of the screen, 
you want to make sure that as your user responsibility that you are going out there. Now, I will tell you that the quarter flat, uh, in my opinion, does the best job on the bunch side. I've tried every zone in the game. The quarter flat, for my money, does the best job. But if you see something like an out route over there, you need to get over there. You're going to kind of sit right in this little area. But as you can see, if you like, take a look at that, um, this is going to pretty much take care of everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the corner strike. I'm going to run kind of a traditional setup that you'll see from Gun Bun. It's something like this right here. And I'm just going to set that same defense up. And so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that seam flat on the left side. I'm going to drop a three rack on the right side. It could be from the nose tackle. It could also be from the, um, you know, from the other guy. Another thing that I like to do against Gun Bunch, because the runs aren't necessarily like super, super powerful, I'll shift my defensive line to the right just to give me a plus one advantage in coverage. As you can see there, I can put that defensive end on the right there in coverage. I still have two guys underneath to stop the run. And you're gonna see that this is gonna pretty much take away um, anything that they wanna do as far as flood concepts. They're not gonna be able to flood. And the best part about the gun bunch is its ability to flood the zone defenses. You can flood vertically, um, horizontally. And so this is a really, really, really effective concept. So I wanna go over it one more time with you. Basically, we're gonna audible to cover four show two. We're gonna blitz our user just like this right here. We're gonna press coverage. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shift them to the right. We're gonna do something basically just like this. We've got the right side manned up. Now, if you wanna leave that quarter flat over there, you can do that if you want to. Um, but the thing that you have to worry about is if they run some type of option route. And so what I like to do is just put a little seam flat out there. Now, if they do run a little option route to the left side, I can see that with my user. I'm just gonna kinda of sit there, but as you can see, we're able to sit on everything very nicely. And we have very, very good defense for this offense. So. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my full gun bunch, or I mean, I'm sorry, if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive guide, it's the best defense in the game because it contains the ability for you to be able to play good zone drops, match defense, it gets you the best personnel on the field, and you can also blitz from this at a very, very effective level. So I would encourage you to get it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video so that you can get that, that uh, 335 wide defense. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My cell phone number is 208-218-6900. Again, thanks for watching, and if you want to get that defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to it in the description.